Hi, I'm John with Real Heart Reviews. Hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Today we are looking at the VFlex VF M10. This microphone is a micro directional shotgun microphone. This is a cardioid microphone, meaning its polar paddle paddle little polar pattern is going to pick up around and directly in front to your subject in front of you. It does not use any batteries, it only uses the power of the device it is plugged into. The device you are hearing right now is a Sony A6500 and it is using the VF M10 at 50% volume boost. And that's about all I need. There will not be any absolutely any audio modifications in post as I believe that completely defeats the purpose of a microphone review. All audio throughout this video, even in the Android test and the walking around test, will be completely done with the VF M10. While the VF M10 is plugged into my Android device, it is using the stock audio settings for the Android using camera open or open camera application, as it doesn't really allow me to change the volume on there, but it did sound really phenomenal during my testing. With that, what do you get with the Viewflex VF M10? You get the little micro all metal microphone itself. The stand it is on that will clip into your camera or into your gimbal or any other device you're traveling around with. You get a standard windscreen, a small windscreen. I'm using it right now as it works as a great pop filter. You are getting the mic wind muff. This is this nice fluffy guy right here and it works quite phenomenal. I did this some testing with this little muff here outside during a little bit of a windstorm and it sounded pretty good. I didn't get a lot of wind in the background but you could still pick up obviously other audio like cars and things like that in the background. You get two cables with this. You get a smartphone adapter cable for Android and iOS devices where it should plug directly in as long as you have a 3.5 jack but if you do not you can use obviously your can your phone's adapter a light Thunderbolt to whatever or a 3.5 to or USB 3.1 to 3.5 and that should get you off to races and going. I tested this with a Galaxy S8 and had absolutely no problems. Found the audio to be actually really phenomenal. And you also get the camera adapter. The adapter itself looks like this small guy here. Very lightweight, very small. You can tell which one is which. The gray one is for your smart device and the black to black is for your camera. But it also says on it, smartphone, on the other one it says DSLR camera. It's small, it's lightweight, the camera itself, or the microphone itself and the cables are very lightweight and very easy to carry around. You could just throw these in your pocket if you have a very small micro cage or something like that. If you're recording with just your phone or if you have a very small gimbal, you're gonna have absolutely no problems with this. I hooked this up to my gimbal and I will be using this exact microphone at a couple more live streams, hopefully in the short, short future here. But worst comes to worst, CES will be the next time you'll be hearing this microphone from us other than a few head-to-heads. Currently testing the Viewflex VF M10. Taking it for a walk. Stock filters on it. It's not very windy in my neighborhood today. Just gonna test it with the stock filter. Taking a quick look around on my gimbal. And we're gonna swatch, oh, swap over to the muff filter that I came with now. So the wind has picked up a bit. I've got the wind muff filter on it now. It's quite a bit larger now on the camera with this, but just going for a quick walk. Don't see any real problems. So if you do outdoor streaming, like hikes and things like that, this should actually work pretty well for you. But if you do lots of streaming within things like Comic-Con or different cons and stuff like that, or gaming events like LTX that we were just recently at. This is absolutely perfect. It is tiny, it fits on my little mini gimbal, no problem whatsoever. And with that, we'll go back to our testing inside. Thanks. The VF M10 is actually a very phenomenal sounding microphone, coming in at only $39 compared to the Rode Micro, which comes in at $59. You get a pretty damn good deal in my mind. And at that price, it definitely earns our real deal award. How could you not give something $39 for a decent microphone? Any other award. Is this the be all end all? Is this gonna be the microphone that you need to do all your professional shoots? No, this is really a grab and go microphone. Great for live streams when you just need that little bit bump on quality of audio. 
but it doesn't sound like a $200 to $300 microphone. It does sound like a sub $100 microphone. That's nothing to dock it for. Being only $39, it is a really good deal. And again, with that $39, link in the description below to our affiliate account. If you're going to pick up this mic, please do so. Clicking our affiliate link it really helps us out. With that, I'm John with Real Heart Reviews. Do I recommend the VF-M10? Highly recommend the VF-M10. Very low cost microphone, very nice to use, and you're hearing it right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the Android test I did as well, the outdoor test, using a basic gimbal and an S8 with the VF-M10. With that, I'm John with Real Hard Reviews. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon, our form, and our website, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.